Next, the cast that brought Yenufa to life explores their characters and the production experience. From the page to the stage, a masterpiece reborn. This is an opera where everyone is kind of put through the rigor. Every character is kind of stretched emotionally to their breaking point. And what Janacek is interested in is seeing what they do then. And the interesting thing is that everyone rises to the occasion. Every character in this opera changes. So it's actually an opera about our better natures. It's an opera that says we're all better than we think we are or than we appear to be on the page. It's a tragedy and it has an ending that it has been throughout its history slightly open to interpretation. And uh, Christine McIntyre in this production made a conscious choice to give it a redemptive ending. And I think that's the right choice because the music at the last three minutes of this opera are exquisite and say nothing but forget the past and there's going to be some kind of a bright future. Playing for an opera is an expanded skill set. It involves heightened awareness for slight adjustments due to the stage or singers' needs. One of the wonderful things about this orchestra is how sensitive they are to the needs of the stage and how much they want to contribute to the drama and play a very strong role in that. And they turn on a dime when needed. Maestro David Neely is incredible. He's our leader. We're counting a lot in our heads, even though you will never know that. So oftentimes we need a cue from him. When I'm singing something, I can feel, Maestro feel that and, and bring the orchestra along with it. It's a really special relationship and hopefully the audience feels that because that's the story we're trying to tell. It took me until I got to the end learning the last scene of the opera. And that is what allowed the character to speak to me. It's the redemptive quality, I think. She's a woman who does an unthinkable thing, and it's like that adage, you know, the way to hell is paved with good intentions. And she does it for reasons that she convinces herself are right to try to resolve things for Yenufa. Yanofa is one of the most incredible characters. She experiences some horrible events, and yet at the end, she still, with a full loving heart, can forgive. And that's what she says to her mother at the end of the opera, and that's hugely powerful. I'm the old lady in this production. I'm everybody's grandmother. I'm there. I'm a presence. The younger ones are sort of taking over. And she's, hmm, might even say being put out to pasture sometimes, not being regarded uh, well, like sometimes older people are. But she's wise. She's very wise, very loving. We have to be at ease on the stage, aware but somehow convey to the audience that it is just the way that day went. I think we're athletes in lots of ways. We have to be strong and loose. Strong, energy, energy relaxed. We strive for that. The opera's all about resilience. Steva seems to be the one person who doesn't learn from his mistakes in the um, the score, it actually says he runs off with his face in his hands. He's so humiliated, and he seems to be the one person that doesn't quite, uh, doesn't quite get it. Every time you take on a new role, you can add so much to your sort of bag of tools. It was really a step away from the, the standard opera that we normally sing and so it's been actually one of the most fun projects that I've done. What the audience is seeing and what we're playing is really the worst day of these people's lives, uh, especially the worst day for Latza. He's so in love with Yenifa and for me seeing him just lose out and see Steva kind of go ahead and, and he's going to get the girl and everything like that and all Latza wants is to be acknowledged and to be validated. 
The thing that inspires me most is the making of art. I think that it, there's something about it connecting to the human experience in all of us, and I think that's what art does at its finest and at its most basic. I couldn't ask for a better debut here than with Yenifa. I'm so enchanted by this whole area of Iowa. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. You really have world-class opera here, and I really mean world-class.